to have made this awesome rice vegetable medley this morning. Oh man, this looks so good. And I'm going to put it in this awesome cabbage roll and make vegetable clunkies. Man, is that gonna be good? Look how delicious that looks. Mmm. Yum, 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 yum. Okay, so here is the continuation of that vegetable glumkies that I was telling you about. I was so excited about. These are in preparation from my mummy. I haven't topped them yet, but these are some of the ingredients that I've used to make the sauce topping. I'm going to put cream of mushroom soup with a little bit of chicken broth only because I had it. I'm a vegetarian. I usually don't use it, but I happen to have it around the house. Somebody gave it to me. It's some kosher salt. That's preparation for my mommy. But if you take a walk with me and come over here, you'll see some interesting stuff baking in the oven. Let me turn the light on for you. And here we have our first experimental set in here. Baking with cream of mushroom on the top and some inside. So, mmm, yummy. Okay, and here looks like the end results of our awesome, awesome, <laughs> awesome vegetable glumkies. I'm gonna cut them open and let you know how they taste. Yummy. Okay, guys, my father always told me that when you're experimental cooking or doing any type of cooking, you as the chef should always take the one that's falling apart. So here it is experimental vegetable glumkies. I was gonna cut one open for ya. You can see it's still steaming hot. But fortunately for me, or unfortunately, depends on how you look at it, I don't have to do any cutting open at all because this is the one that fell apart because I didn't have a big enough cabbage leaf. And you can see my toothpicks in it, but uh, it's still, actually, this didn't fall apart until I used this uh, spatula, whatever you want to call it, to take it off of the plate in the oven from here. I took it off with the spatula. I used this to get it off and I didn't even pull it out of the oven. So that's actually why it fell apart. So that was my fault. So as the chef, you definitely have to take the one that falls apart. I'm sure it's delicious. I will pull out another one for you and cut it open so you can see that demonstration. Thanks for watching. Here are the results of my experimental vegetable galumkis, of which I made with cream mushroom soup, some kosher salt, and these are what the perfect ones, the perfect made ones that I'm going to top off with the same that I saved and reserved for my mother because I want her to have perfect looking galunkis. These are just my experimental ones so you know the leaves fell apart but this is at least presentable and what you do is you take the pits out make sure you take your picks out because that's what holds your galunkis inside and then you cut them apart but meanwhile, I'm going to eat this one first because, like I said, my father always said, the chef eats the ones that fall apart and that are not perfect. Um, that's just what he taught me to do mm. when I was a kid. So I'll be eating this one first. Vegetable galumkis. Thanks for watching. Okay, peeps, well, as promised, I told you I was gonna cut open and try my vegetable lumpy made with cream of mushroom soup and let you know how it tastes. The first inclination of this is I looks like it needs more cream of mushroom soup in my opinion, but we'll try it and let's let's see. Because again, these are experimental, so that when I take them to my mommy's house, she'll have a nice batch. Mmm. Oh wow. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. I made them so the 
carrots are still crunchy. Vegetables are still a little crunchy. Um, I could use a smidge more cream of mushroom soup. Not too much. Noted. And also, I would use pink Himalayan sea salt instead of kosher salt. I have kosher salt on there. So, thanks for watching. Okay, so now we're going to top these vegetable glumkies with some cream of mushroom sauce mixture that I made with just a little bit of chicken broth, even though I'm a vegetarian and don't usually use that. But these are for my mommy, and I did reserve these perfect looking ones for her because the ones that were experimental that you've seen before, the leaves of the cabbage sort of fell apart. So these are mine I'm putting away in containers for myself for the week. Again, the chefs are supposed to eat the bad ones or the falling apart ones. They're not bad, they're just falling apart. Still look scrumptious though, don't they? And they are. Well, back to the preparation for my mommy's vegetable glumkies. I'm going to take some sauce and I'm going to put an adequate amount over more than I did before because as you've seen in my other experimental vegetable glumkies video, they were just a little bit shy of cream of mushroom sauce. So I'm putting more on to my mama's so that they will be perfect because I love my mama and I want her to have good stuff. Get enough going on over here. Whoops. Whoops, 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 whoops. There we go. Pop that off nicely. Get to the last drop over here. And they're good. Make sure we scrape, scrape that pan out pretty good. Get everything you can get. Ooh, Joan Jet, I like the song. And last but not least, let's get more. Oh, the, the oven is ready for these glumkies. I preset the oven for 375. And actually, Previously, I set them for like 25 minutes and a half an hour, but it turns out they only took like 15. So we're going to try around about that way. And then we're going to take a pinch of Himalayan sea salt. And we're going to just sprinkle that on there. Lightly on the top. Okay. That's pink Himalayan sea salt. With cream of mushroom soup and just a pinch of chicken broth, but I usually don't use that because I'm a vegetarian. But this is for my mommy. This is what it, they look like. They look much better than my experimental ones do because they're, well, made for my mommy and because I use the perfect cabbage leaves as opposed to the ones that are falling apart. Okay, so come take a walk with me. I'm just going to open this oven door over here real quickly, turn on the light so you can see. And we're going to put these in the oven. Come walk with me. And there they go. Have fun, guys. We'll see you in a little while. Thanks for watching. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, here they are. They are done. My finalized vegetable galumkis that are perfect for my mama. As opposed to my experimental ones. Oh, they look beautiful. And we're just going to put them here in this little to-go container. This insulated, insulated container. I have it surrounded by <laughs> all kinds of things so that it's so hot it doesn't burn the plastic. And this is a little to-go container I'm going to take to my mama's house. But these are for my mama! And uh, I saved the best ones for last because they're for her. And let's see how she likes them. Put this little lid on. See if it'll fit in there. Yay! Keep it hot for my mama, and I'm gonna go take her lunch. See ya! Okay, now I want you to be a good boy while I'm gone, okay? I'm gonna go take grandma some homemade vegetable glumkies, and you need to be a good boy while I'm gone. So, right, good boy. Left, good boy. Once one, right? Okay, two, two of them. Good boy, be good boy while I'm gone. Thank you. Okay, so here we go. Going to get my mama her homemade vegetable glumkies. 
we're about to have and sit down and eat. See what mama thinks. So here's my mommy's homemade vegetable glumkies. And let's see if she likes them. Oh, you're putting butter in it. How neat. Interesting. Butter. Oh, good. I'm glad you like them. All done. Apparently, mine was, mine was very good. Yummy. Cool. Very good, Julian. Excellent. I'm so glad you liked it, Mom. Can I get two thumbs up? Since you like it? <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes, my mommy loved her vegetable galumkis. Thanks, Ma. Maxie, <laughs> were you a good boy while I was at Grandma's house? You were? Oh, good boy. <laughs> well, I guess the vegetable glumkies were a two thumbs up, and she liked them. Thanks for watching. Subscribe so you can see more. <laughs>